brakes or rim brakes. Maybe you've been wondering for a while whether you should upgrade your bikes from rim brakes to disc brakes. This video is going to give you a bit more information and if you like it, please subscribe and share. So first of all, disc brakes, what are the advantages? Braking performance without a doubt is the best. Your, sh your braking distance is shorter, the brakes are more responsive and reliable and predictable, especially in the wet. Wheels. With a disc brake bike, you can have wider wheels. That means wider rims and wider tires. What does that mean? Well, you can ride with lower pressure and that means greater traction and comfort. Lastly, with a disc brake bike, it's got a through axle. That means the frame is fixed, so it's stiffer and it handles better. It just feels better. It transfers power better. But of course, there's some disadvantages with disc brakes as well. They are heavier at the moment. The brake parts are heavier and the spoke count for the wheels are heavier because they've got to transfer higher forces. Maintenance. For most people, disc brakes means learning a whole new set of skills and getting a whole new set of tools. If you travel a lot with your TT bike, for example, packing it in a box, taking it out, it might not be the best idea if you're not a really competent mechanic. You've got to take the discs off the wheels. It's just added complexity. All right, so what about rim brakes? They're lighter. For exactly the same setup in two bikes, one with discs and one with rims, rim brakes are just lighter. Aerodynamically, there's no advantage to either at the moment. It depends entirely on the manufacturer and the model. So you don't get an aero advantage with either. Rim brakes, definitely easier to maintain and the parts are cheaper. And if you're traveling to far flung parts of the world with your TT bike, the chances are you're gonna find the bits and someone who can fix it. That said, because everyone's upgrading to disc brakes, the other advantage with rim brakes is that for now, the market's gonna get flooded with cheap carbon wheels, cheap bikes in rim brake models. But what are the dis disadvantages with rim brakes? We already talked about braking distances, so the main disadvantage with rim brakes is the longer braking distance, especially when it's wet and you're riding carbon wheels. Secondly, there's a width restriction with the brake calipers, which means rim brakes, bikes can't progress now to wider wheels. So wider wheel sizes are really only for the disc brake version of bikes. And because it's not a through axle, you don't have that same responsiveness in the frame. That said, we're only on second generation of disc brake bikes for road bikes and TTs. So who knows where the technology is gonna go. That's it, it's a personal choice. If you found this useful, please like and subscribe.